Okay, so now I have my handle done, as you can see, and I attached it to my lid of my tin. And I adhered my paper down with Maj Podge. And the gears, too, which I cut these gears um, from the Indie cartridge for Cricut. That's what I used. And I glossy accented some of my butterflies that were on the paper. I cut them out and did that. Um, this swirl right here is from straight from the nest. It's a Cricut cartridge. I cut that out and I used... Um, Ah, uh, what's that called? I'll show you. Hold on. I used this. It's like glitter glue. Let me back it up. It's kind of like a brownish color. It's really pretty. Um, I used all the flowers on here. These flowers are from wild orchid and this is my first time using them I bought them but I hadn't used them yet and so are these little mini roses they color so nice it's it's just amazing um, for this flower and this flower I used um, the moon shadow mist in I think I have it out. Hold on. Yeah, I do. Sorry, guys. The moon shadow mist in burnt umber. Um, the turquoise color. I actually mixed my own. I had some blue metallic paint and I mixed a little bit of black to it and put it in a spray bottle with a little bit of water. I filled the rest of the, like, I put, like, maybe a half inch of the paint on the bottom of the bottle, the spray bottle, and I filled the rest up with water, and I just put a touch of alcohol in it so it dries quicker, and it works out really well. Um, the little, like, yellow flowers, I used the, um... Moon Shadow Van Dyke Sepia color, and I also used um, Candlelight um, Glimmer Mist for that. Now, this tag, I actually um, wanted it hanging off the side of the lid, and I thought, well, I don't want it stiff from the glossy accents, so what I used is Triple Thick. And it makes, like, whatever paper you use or whatever, it makes it kind of pliable. And it's not going to rip or anything. It's pretty strong. And this stuff, you can actually shape your paper into a shape and then paint it on, and it'll stay in that shape. Like, you're not going to be able to get it out of that shape. It's pretty cool. Like, I curled up the end here. If you use glossy accents, it eventually would have, the weight of the glossy accents would have made it go down but because I used the triple thick and I'll show you what that looks like I I don't even know like okay um the brand it's called it's Americana and it's triple thick brilliant brush on gloss glaze and this stuff is amazing it's the first time I've used it and I'm going to be using it a lot I loved it um For this, I just mod podged, mod, mod podged, wow, can't talk tonight, guys, um, all the papers, everything has been mod podged except for the tag. The tag, I used a little bit of glossy accents to tack it on here, same with the flowers, I used that, and for the butterflies, I used the fabric tack glue to um, adhere it down so and then I'll show you there's my handle that I made um, look real well it was metal 
I shouldn't say it look, to make it look like metal, because it was metal. I just didn't like the gold, so I altered it a little bit. And then you can see the texture. I don't know if you can see that. On the tin that I add. Okay. This I did using my um, metallic, the metal, full metal technique. And I did it right on the tin, and then I colored it the same way I did the frames. And it, it, I actually really, really, really like how it turned out. It looks really super vintage -y. So I'll back up so you can get a full shot of the whole. Don't mind the blob of black paint on my glass. <laughs> Sorry. But, okay, so I'm going to be back. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to the bottom of the lid. So it would be the, the bottom part of the tin and then I will reveal the album that I made to put inside this tin so I will be back again hi everybody this is my completed project so I have to hold the camera so you can see it so if it's jiggly it's because I have to hold it there's the side in the back and the other side okay so what I did for all of this down here on all sides is the first thing I did is I um, maj podge down um, the old I guess you would call them like stamp paper from the steampunk debutante paper I just did six of them and I kinda tilted them a little bit and then I glued, glued them down with the Mod Podge and I went around and I glued down this and then these okay and on this side it was just this paper again that I glued down and then on this side, same thing, I did the, the two little accent pieces over here and this. Okay, then I did the faux metal technique, and I made sure when I did it that it kind of went over the edge of the paper that I had glued down. So let me get a real close-up look for you, and you can see it's kind of bubbly and everything. Okay, and it's the same way with here. You can really see it on this side, actually. If you look at the top there, um, you can see, like, the faux metal look on there. Okay, and on here, um, I used the Prima Say It in Pearls on the front here. And this was just a charm that I had. And what I did, I don't know if you can see it, I bent some wire, made it curly like a spring, and put it through the little, where you'd hang the charm. Okay. And then on this side, this key was gold, real bright gold, so I painted it black and took a little bit of, um, oh, what's it called? I have to find it now. Hang on. It's up here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Okay, sorry. Um, the liquid leaf in the Florentine gold. And I just kind of painted a little bit on there. And I actually took the liquid leaf um, after I, I did, like I did the handle. Except I used the Maj Podge where I did the painted it all black. And then did the copper and the turquoise. I then went over it lightly with the, with the liquid leaf. Okay, um, all these gears are from, um, this old, like, oh, what are they called, travel alarm clocks, I don't know if you guys remember these, my parents had one, and they actually gave it to me, so I took it apart, because I don't like clocks at TikTok, so I had to take it apart and use the gears, and you'll see what I did to the clock face and everything else, but I used all the parts out of 
that clock just about for the gears that are all over on the the container and um you'll see on the mini album in a few minutes um i then edged it with some lace and what i did with the lace is i um dipped my paintbrush in my moon shadow mist and i used the van dyke sepia and i brushed it on and then i took my walnut ink the walnut stain distress ink and went over it just to give it a little darker look to it um the legs that i put on here and i'll show you see the legs they were just wooden knobs that i i had laying around and i never used them and i'm like wow they make really cool legs and i just painted them with the black paint and um used my copper um like glimmer mist that i my homemade copper glimmer mist and sprayed it on there with a little bit of the turquoise um colored copper turquoise glimmer mist that i had made now these flowers are from wild orchid wonderful they held up really well um when i colored these i don't spray them because i think it's a big waste of spray when you're spraying them i take a really uh fine tip paint brush and i paint i dip it in my glimmer mist and then i paint it on and i did that with the flowers up here with the moon shadow mist too you're just going to want to shake up your bottle really well before you do that and occasionally take your brush and stir up the bottom um before you start painting again like if you're doing a lot um okay so i have to because i'm holding my camera i have to shut my camera off so i can show you uh the album because i got to take the lid off and i can't do that if i'm holding my camera so I will be right back.